Hello everyone, continuing where we left off last time, I will show you today um, how to route those two broadcast domains that we created in our previous uh, lesson. So let me show you what I got. I already draw uh, a diagram for our setup. It's almost the same as in, in uh, the previous uh, session with VLAN filtering. The difference is that now I'm using two different uh, subnets. This is one subnet, 192.168.20.0/24, and I assigned IPs from this subnet. And here is the other subnet, 192.168.10. That whatever slash 24. If you want to see, I have another diagram. Sorry, this one, which uh, details the layer three configuration. So I have a router with two interfaces. Point 0.5 will be the interface assigned, the IP address assigned to, to the router interface. And um, these are the two IPs in, uh, in this broadcast domain. And here also, similar, similarly. Nothing, uh, nothing too complicated. Um, so, Let's start and uh, configure the stuff. Let's go to the console. It's big enough. Let's say my goal right now is to to ping from from NS one to NS three and then NS four, so from one broadcast domain to the other. Let's try and do that and see if it works. IP network namespace exec NS1 ping 192. Actually, I think I haven't configured the, the IP addresses. Let's see what IP addresses I have uh, configured because I'm pretty sure I need to change, uh, change those IP addresses a bit. IP minus N NS one let's see all of them uh, address here is all right here also but not so much for ns3 and ns4 i need to to modify this to have 20 here so ip minus n ns3 address I will delete this one, 192.168.10.3 slash 24 from VTH3 and I will add the correct one, NS3 address at 192.168.20.3 slash 24 dev VTH sorry what address at 192.10.20 sorry 20.3.24 vth underscore 3. Let me see if I did it correct. That's correct. Let's do the other namespace IP minus N NS4 address delete 192.168.10.4 slash 24 device vth underscore 4 and add the correct one ns4 address add 192.168.20.4 slash 24 vth4 I let's check the, the results ns4 address show we are correct so let's display also the VLANs. Bridge VLAN show. 
here the configuration is correct and of course if I am uh, If I'm pinging from one namespace, from namespace one to one of the namespaces in the other broadcast domain, it shouldn't work. 20.3. Network is unreachable. I don't even have routes for, for, for that. What I want to do now is to, to add sub-interfaces for the bridge in VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Like this, IP link add. I need to specify link BR0 because these are sub-interfaces sub of, uh, <clears throat> of my software bridge. Name BR0.10, type VLAN ID10. IP link add, I'm adding the secondary sub-interface BR0 name BR0.20, type VLAN ID, type VLAN ID 20. Let's show my, uh, let's show the the created interfaces. These are the ones. Let's bring those up. IP link set device br0.10 up link set device br0.20 up and assign IP addresses, IP link set, uh, not set, IP address at 192.168.10.5 slash 24 for BR0.10 and this other one will have 192.168.20.5 slash 24 dev BR0.20 address so here here they are looks good what else I would I need to do now I need to to activate uh, IP forwarding IP packet forwarding if I'm displaying this uh, here this is net IPv4, IP forwarding, I think. It is zero. One way to do, to configure packet forwarding, to enable packet forwarding would be to echo one. Proxys. Net IPv4, IP forward. So now I have it enabled. Another way would be to use this control and look for that parameter IP forward. Oh, what? I think I need to specify minus A so it shows me all the parameters. So here I have it. So uh, it's another way to configure uh, packet forwarding. It's a uh, faster method, in my opinion. So I have packet forward, forwarding configured. Let me also configure routes, because if you if we display the routes, let's say for, uh, for network namespace one, and this one route. I only have the directly connected route, so I need to add, I will add, the, actually I will add the default route. Minus one, route add, one nine default, default, via 192.168.10.5, device vth underscore one. Looks good. Let's add the default route in all of the namespaces. Here I have with VTH2 and here I have NS3 with the other uh, gateway IP and VTH4 the same IP and 
minus two round. All right, let's try and do a ping. IP network namespace exec NS1 ping 192.168.20. Uh, three is not working. Why is not working? Because I haven't assigned the VLAN IDs for the bridge. Bridge VLAN show. I need to to have here in this list br0 also with vlan 10 and vlan 20. let's do that mm. bridge vlan add vlan id 10 device bridge 0 i said i'm not interested about primary vlan id and the uh, untagged i just need to type here to use the keyword self and I will also add VLAN 20. Let's try and ping again. And it's working like a charm. Namespace 4 also. This is it. This is uh, my lab, what I wanted to, to show you. If you have questions, uh, leave them in the, in the comments. I hope this has been helpful and um, I will see you in the next lab. Bye-bye.